pick that up pretty quick. We're like, oh my god, did it get on? All right, so we are gonna do a clean off video of the seeker here. So we got our whole crew and everyone's gonna see what we picked up. It's fine, you can be on camera. <laughs> yeah, so to clean it off, all you gotta do is just pull these up and then they stay down. Yep, so that swings the magnet up away from a debris pan. So you pull this magnet, the handle down, pull the handle up off of the plate at the bottom. All the debris will be separated further from the magnet. And if you pull forward six feet, everything will be left here. And we can sweep it up with these little magnets and put it in the buckets. No, unless you get it to like 600 degrees. <laughs> Now you can just pop the magnets back down. Oh yeah, you got the lock and the key. Yeah, exactly. There you go, guys. I guess that key doesn't work. Anyways, you got a bucket open. So once you get this shit in here, you pick it all up, and then you come over to these buckets, and you can drop it off. Drop it off without touching anything. That way you don't have to touch it, because that shit's sharp. Yep, that. yep, the magnet's in the aluminum There's tube here. Someone made an observation, isn't it best to bring the, uh, the, the bucket to the pile? Or... Yeah, yeah, I never said I haven't. See, I don't have an engineering degree, okay? <laughs> I am here for my looks. Hey, Hunter, you better drive this all day. <laughs> I didn't pay for it, I paid for it here. Yeah, we need another bucket. So they just said, isn't it better to bring the bucket to the debris instead of the debris to the bucket? There you go. All right, now that we got, now that we got the uh, thinkers here, so you see, surprised how much this thing actually holds. Eh? It's a, uh, yeah, it's rare earth magnets. So you get three of these with it, because obviously they're going to go missing. Someone's going to take one to a shop or something. So we give you three with it. But this is a lot easier than bending over and picking up with your hands, right? And then this uh, plastic sleeve on here, because you're driving it on the concrete, right? <laughs> so you're dragging this on the concrete. If it wears out, you can flip it four times. So you got four wear surfaces. Yeah, I mean, and then you also don't have to be able to see everything. So if like you're on gravel or something, it'll still pick it up and hold it. So once you got it cleaned off, just chuck it back in the blocks here. There you go. So once you wrestle those back on, Throw the buckets back in, you're good. Yeah, the magnet's on like a pivot in there. So it's touching a stainless steel debris pan and then all this stuff gets stuck to the debris pan. So when you swing the magnet up, it drops. And there you go. The entire clean off cycle in front of the crew. Uh, we got a bunch of guys here, picked up a ton of debris, so I think now we're going to hit the runway and uh, hopefully we don't get anything out there, but we likely will. So we threw some stuff down to just test it uh, to see how much it would pick up. That was their whole box of like test media that they use and it got it all in the first try because it's twice as strong as the Piranha. So we cleaned it all off, showed the guys how to use it, and now I think we're going to hit the runway and yeah, that'll be fun.